To meet the challenges that we face, that, that our members, our customers face, uh, it really comes down to making sure we can scale at cost. But the new type of customers we have are the enterprise customers connecting to clouds, workloads, uh, applications, which are all over Europe, so they're not just in one location. Resilience is always top of mind. Internet exchange operators are at the eye of the global data storm. And while their challenges are many, including demand, cost and resiliency, there is another challenge that the whole world is watching. Doing what's best for both worlds. And with global interconnection bandwidth forecast to grow at a 40% CAGA, the twin goals of boosting capacity while dramatically increasing power and space efficiency seem unlikely to ever meet until you meet with Nokia. And that inter-exchanges everything. With customers in 80 countries, every one of them looking to efficiently boost capacity, scaling at cost is a priority for Lynx. Nokia are helping us meet many of these requirements. As I said, automation is, is, is a big part of what we, what we need to do. We do have automation tool in at Lynx already, and so Nokia came in and sat with our engineers and worked with us and adapted and, uh, and, and uh, built systems to, to work with, with our system. We've already got an eye on the next area, which is you know, 800 gig and beyond. And they've already got the, the, the technologies to start looking at 800 gig. In the Netherlands, co-location and connectivity leader, North Sea, takes a special interest in helping companies cross the digital transformation chasm. Nomios and Nokia delivered an integrated IP optical data center interconnect solution for North Sea, our region connect ring. Together we created a nationwide virtual data center. The high-speed reach connect ring enables us to offer our customers fast, scalable and reliable data center interconnectivity and cloud connectivity. Working with Nokia feels like a real partnership. They really understand our business and the goals we try to achieve. NLIX connects new breed enterprise customers to clouds, apps and workloads across Europe. But when it came to power and space footprints, they recognised that bigger was definitely not better. So when Nokia rolled out 800 gig routing, they leapt at the chance to give their customers more by using less. We've worked with Nokia before. We chose Nokia as our pan-European optical supplier. And the relationship we built with Nokia on that part was incredible. And as soon as we heard of their FP5 technology, we instantly knew that that was the way forward for us to go. And with the FP5, we can increase the bandwidth to 800G per customer, but also lower our power footprint because the new efficiency levels they reach with us. Eurofiber's infrastructure contributions have been officially acclaimed as vital to Dutch society. And while they're focused on core business challenges, they're doing it while striving for zero emissions and a circular economy that reduces waste and pollution. The key challenges of today's market are, for example, resilience. Furthermore, the increasing bandwidth demand, and we need to make sure that the backbone grows accordingly. The last one is growth. Recently, Eurofiber selected Nokia as a new vendor in its supplier landscape. We've done this after an extensive uh, selection process in which we looked at various items such as technique, quality, but also an uh, important area for Eurofiber which is sustainability. Together Nokia and Eurofiber strive for a net zero emission and 100% circular world. They assisted us with the new architecture and can help us with the roadmap and finding new solutions to secure the continuity. In this way we can live our international ambition, build an infrastructure that is robust and ready for the future. As change inspires new thinking, new partnerships and a new urgency to do good as you do well, internet exchange leaders are keeping the lead by partnering with Nokia. And with the most comprehensive portfolio of data centers, IP routing, DCI optical solutions and automation capabilities, it's no surprise that four of the top five IXPs in Europe, and many more worldwide, run Nokia routers, every one of them for their own critical reason. What's yours?